I'm talking to Mrs. Gita Mukherjee, who is a member of the Lok Sabha for the Communist Party of India. Here we are speaking in Calcutta, where a left front government, led by the Communist Party Marxist, but also with your party's support, is in power. When elsewhere around the world, and particularly in Moscow, communism has, has been toppled. How has communism survived here? Well, the first uh, point is that it is true that this dismemberment of Soviet Union is surely a shocking thing for all communists of different hues. But that has not produced the same impact on all communist parties all over the world. In India and in most of the third world countries, it is true that we are still holding the red flag high of all hues, commun communists of all hues, and we intend to do so in the future. Therefore, on this question, there is no difference as far as our two parties are concerned. What, what went wrong in Moscow? Uh, now, uh, why... Uh, what went wrong in Moscow? Here, there is a conception in various quarters, particularly those are votaries of the capitalist system. They think it is the collapse was inherent in the socialist system itself. And therefore, also, since socialist system is based on the science of Marxism and Leninism, that also has failed. This is the perception which is being propagated by interested quarters for quite some time. Now, as far as we are concerned, our party does not think that collapse of Soviet collapse of socialism in Soviet Union for the time being is synonymous with the collapse of socialism as such or the science of Marxism and Leninism as such. You see, a science, one has to apply it, and a science is always a developing science. If I do not apply the science properly, for that, the science should not be blamed. So, <laughs> so therefore, our feeling is that in USSR, there was great achievements, but there were also a very important area where leadership in different times did fail. Now, naturally, uh, no, not leadership of all and also each leader, all failures. That's not the point. So therefore, if, I, if, you would, if you would allow me to give one or two examples. For example, up to Lenin, we do not think that there was much of failure. It was a great success. Then came Stalin, Stalin's leadership. We do not think it is all negative. There was great positive achievements. It should not be forgotten that it is during Stalin's leadership that these five years pla plans came up. It is during, the, it, during Stalin's leadership that unemployment was put to an end. It is during Stalin's leadership that industrialization was uh, advanced in Soviet Union, making it a highly industrialized country. These are the plus points. But then, the very big minus point was his denial of democracy inside the party as well as outside the party. Can you explain to me, talk, turning to the situation in India today, why are you a member of the CPI and not of the CPIM? Well, since CPI I was in original CPI, I did not think it was necessary to leave CPI because I did not think that, uh, firstly, I did not agree with the policy of CPIM followed at the time of Sino-Indian War. 
I personally have been to China, very fond of China. Even then I thought the Chinese leadership committed a big mistake by crossing the frontier. So therefore that was the principal question on which our party divided. I don't think on that score I agreed with the CPIM position. That issue is now in a sense history. Is there a ch any prospect of unification of the two parties? Well, so far as we are concerned, we shall be very happy if there's a unification. In fact, at a point of time, we give the slogan of merger of two parties. Not immediately, but through a common process. Since CPIM did not respond that way, we are not advancing that slogan anymore. But then we are definitely committed to an attempt for forging unity with all those who call themselves communists, CPI, CPIM, and even a section of the Nakshalites, as they are called, they are very many factions, but among them, who, those who have abjured personal violence. So we want that all these forces should try to work on common questions and common movements, on common issues. We have very many common issues. We surely can work together. And through these, in, our, in course of time, we believe all of us will have to try to strengthen the left movement as such. And in the left movement, unless the communists are united, on very many scores. Naturally, it's very difficult to make any uh, impact. What points of criticism would you have of the CPM? Let me put one that I've heard a lot on, that the party has grown too fast. Yeah, shall, we, shall we break off? Uh, break off. Yes, and also what points of criticism you've had. And I've, I've heard several people say the CPM in West Bengal has grown too fast, that it's admitted people to membership who are opportunists, some of them are corrupt, some are antisocials, and the quality of the party's result has gone down. Fair comment? Uh, may I, before that, make a positive comment okay. on the left front government? Because mm -hmm. in that background only, mm -hmm. I can bring out what are the aberrations. Mm -hmm. See, the positive points of the left front government, firstly, land reform, effective land reform. That means uh, giving land to the poor. Second is uh, panchayat system, giving the power to the village level. Thirdly, there is also several other questions. For example, increase of food rains production. By now, a new the recent drive of literacy. These are, for example, these are some of the plus points, are very important. Now, but then, no communist party can rely on its plus points all the time. They must be ever vigilant. They should take some exam, some, if they want to, they should take some uh, lessons from the collapse of Soviet Communist Party main reason of the collapse was that it became somewhat alienated from the people. But that is the point where one has to be very careful. Now in this, as a member also of the left front, I feel that all of, all of the parties have to be very careful about several aspects of our behavior. Naturally, bigger the party is, bigger will be the responsibility of doing so. From that point of view, I would like to say some things that we must guard against, and I do not think that we are properly guarding against. It's one is sectarianism, tremendous sectarianism. If one belongs to your party, then no problem, thing is uh, allowed. If one belongs to some other's party, then Many things which should not be are, uh, should not be allowed are allowed. 
this is not what is called democracy fully. Therefore, this is a very important point and this is creating difficulty among the left following ordinary people also. A lot of criticism is coming up on this question. Secondly, there is another thing, intolerance of criticism. This is one thing we must be very much alert against. Because, you see, I, for example, go by trains, buses, on foot, sometimes behind cycles, sometimes behind motorcycle. Most of the time, sometimes is completely uh, un un unidentified naturally. That gives me an opportunity of listening to the people. Now, if you listen to the people, then you will understand that one certain this intolerance of criticism is being very much disliked by a section of the left-following people, even, let alone the others who were not left-following. This is very important. Thirdly, change of lifestyle of some of its leaders. You see, ours is a poor country. And then, our people's life is very poor. If they see that their own leaders are living in a grand style, in big houses, having a nice life, that is not very particularly appreciated. And that is not necessary either. For example, you are in my house. Have a look. This is a, a modest <laughs> It is a flat. normal middle class flat. Huh? And that too, very little space compared to the work that we have to discharge. When my husband was there, even we, both of us had to. Now, there are many others also like me. Not that, that only we are the examples. But then there are many others who are dislike, who are not like this, who have changed their lifestyle, should not have done it. Are you thinking of Jyoti Bazu? I don't want to take any name. Each one will ask himself or herself and will know the result. But you would say that, that, that your remarks would apply to Jyoti Bazu and others? Well, I would not like to make any personal comment because that is not uh, proper and according to my standard, uh, what should I say? Mm. In Bengali we say ruchi, that is not to my taste, to name individuals. But you've made a more general point. Yes. I have heard a lot of criticism of uh, Jyoti Bazu's son. You must also have heard the criticism. I have heard the criticism. I do not know how far Jyoti Basu himself is responsible, but then, doubtlessly, criticisms about his son should be heeded too. So he should do something about it? At least one should guard that the son's doings are not uh, straight away linked with the father's doings. You make the uh, uh, you see, I gave you a general uh, idea about the achievements of the left front government as well as some of the aberrations which the left front partners have to uh, go into. Now, why? Why is it so essential? Because I do not think there is any alternative. Neither Congress nor BJP can be alternative and must not be alternative in West Bengal or in India. If that is so, then it is even more necessary that the left movement improves itself. It makes its own victories much more instead of alienating any force. Why is it that the CPM is the strongest party in West Bengal and not the CPI? Well, there is a historical reason for it, because CPI committed a big mistake by supporting the emergency in, on an all-India level, emergency declared by Indira Gandhi. Though the West Bengal unit of CPI was against it, even then we did not go in for public agitation, naturally it was not our duty. 
our duty was to work inside the cpi to convince others and fortunately our party took a turn for the left abjuring its own policy of supporting the emergency measures but this was a historic turn and in that historic turn cpi's bases naturally were captured by cpim because of cpi's this difficulty later on of course since they were the major partners and i'm sorry to say their sectarian practice etc did help them in growing but all the growth are not necessarily healthy having a big bulky body maybe sometimes uh, not so helpful for the health one thing that a lot of communist parties have found very hard especially those in power is changing generations at the top and the cpm here seems to have that problem with binod chaudhry sarandh gupta uh, jyoti bazu do you think they've made a mistake in not changing generations so far well i think that this is not a particular fault of cpim alone this changing generation is very important in all parties also in cpi surely in cpim and then just changing gener- generation would not do the older generation must be prepared to help and guide the next generation to learn and to also share the responsibilities in cpim some uh, boys were given responsibilities but i believe that they need they needed and still need greater education from all points of view let me ask you i know you don't like questions about personality but let me as a final question ask you you're a very seasoned political observer you're within the left front but yet you're distant from the main party or at one remove from the cpm who is going to be the next chief minister how do i know it is up to I, the people of west bengal to <laughs> elect the left front i don't i, I don't want to raising certainty <laughs> i want your opinion i really can't comment What, you were talking about when the party was underground you were working in the chitigong area uh, well uh, earlier our party was underground then it used to work inside the uh, congress and then second time our party had to be underground under congress raj so i am talking about uh, the second time underground when when we emerged out of first time underground etc at that time i was the student leader and participated in student movement all over bengal united bengal and you traveled around the very much very much indeed must many of those paths are in bangladesh now and and you But, were, you were telling me that it was only later that you came to understand that you didn't know yes, very much yes actually because i was uh, moving about the middle classes students in those days came from middle class families mostly so i was staying with their families though it was all the village but then village uh, nature alone will not give you the real feeling of the village life so when second after second underground when i emerged out no more the student it was decided upon that i shall go in the villages and i went to midnapur district and there i shared the life of the poorest of the poor peasants then only i understand what was india not when i was the student leader and roaming about in the middle class families and you're saying that many new communists post independence communists in a sense have not had that experience of working with the masses uh, quite a number some had some has not that nobody has but this trend is 
a an important trend and moreover one should understand one thing that being in power and being out of power there's a big difference Are you saying the CPM has been in power too long I uh, know not that but all the precautions that has to be taken while remaining in power I have apprehension that all those precautions are not being taken Tell me again when it was that you met uh, Rajani Kamdat After independence when he came here Rajani Pamdat came here Harry Pollitt also came here later on But when Rajani Pamdat to came we were all there I was a student at that time What did you think of him did he impress you It, he was impressive because earlier to that we read his works so we had big interest and then really we were impressed by his behavior his way of dealing with things his job in part was to change the line of the then undivided party yes. was that resented well uh, i uh, don't know exactly what was his role in those days because these things were not discussed but i can quite appreciate probably he must have tried being uh, such a senior communist he must have thought that if split could be avoided did he sp speak bengali no so he was a bengali who didn't speak bengali yes actually as one and brought brought up in there okay